I haven't said this to anyone before, but the past couple of years have felt pretty lonely. As a fresh college grad in a post-COVID world, I felt like it was getting harder and harder to make new friends and maintain the friendships that I already had. Some might say that's just what happens when you get older, but I wasn't okay with that because friendship and companionship is most of what makes life fun. So this year, I decided to do something about it and I'm really happy to say that it's worked. So let's talk about how to make and keep friends as an adult. Though I love me time, I've always been a social person. After all, I am the youngest sibling. When I came into this world, I had a friend already waiting for me here. I had friends from the very first day of pre-K. I went to a really small elementary and middle school and I remember being so excited to start high school because it was bigger, which meant I could have more friends. And college, are you kidding me? It's literally a social butterfly's dream. You get to live with your friends. And at the peak of all this, as soon as I graduated, it all just stopped. I thought maybe it was because of COVID. After all, I did finish the last year and a half of college on a laptop in my bedroom. I realized my friends from school were moving back home or moving away to start new jobs or new academic journeys. I was back home myself, but it seemed like none of my friends were here anymore or that so much time had passed that I wasn't even sure if we were still friends at all. And I love the freedom of working remotely, but it doesn't make it easy to go bowling with your coworkers on the weekends if they live across the country. Suddenly, I was just by myself and I was thinking, was it me? Did I do something wrong? Am I no longer good at maintaining friendships? But as I molded over in my head and I looked at the situation more deeply, I realized that there were specific conditions that existed in school years that made friendships thrive and that those conditions were no longer present in my life. For all the suckiness of school and higher education, it does offer a lot of structure and specifically three conditions that make it easy to make and keep friends. So I thought, what if I just took those three conditions that worked for friendships then and intentionally incorporate them into my life now? So I did it and it worked. School requires pretty rigid time schedules for when you need to be out of your house, when you need to go to your next class, when you need to go to the library, when you need to go to your sports practice. And because of this, you end up seeing the same people at the same time very often. Since humans are social creatures, this creates a perfect breeding ground for friendships. Even if you're shy for a while, you still mentally note the people that you see every day. They at least become familiar background characters that can be easily converted into friends with a simple compliment or question. As an adult though, you really can do whatever you want. There's no other adults really forcing you to stick to a rigid routine. But if you go to your neighborhood coffee shop at a different time every day or only once a month, you don't give yourself the chance to consistently mingle with the same people. And that makes it a lot harder to start friendships because you're always around strangers instead of familiar background characters. So tip number one is to pick somewhere to go at the same time once a week. This sets the perfect scene to make friendships when you pair with tip number two. Okay, when it comes to friendships, school really did their big one with this. In school, there's a bunch of teams and clubs, which are really just regular gatherings for people who have a similar interest. If you like volleyball, board games, or history, you can easily find other people who are into that too and start a budding friendship over that common interest. But the clubs I'm talking about are a lot harder to find and get into as an adult. You kind of have to manufacture them on your own. So tip number two is to think about about your interests and hobbies, places that you would want to go to with friends, and pick that as your place to go to once a week. That way, you're picking a place that you can go to consistently and you're around people who share a similar interest to you. For me, I love work sessions with friends, so this year I've been going to cafes to work a lot on the weekends. And lo and behold, after a few times, I met a couple of girls who were also working at a cafe on the weekend. You know, eventually we struck up a conversation, then you exchange Instagrams, and go to brunch. Simple. But just because you go to brunch a couple of times doesn't mean you're going to be able to maintain a friendship. We all know that life be laughing. Sometimes things come up, your routines change, your friend goes MIA. But school had a way of dealing with this too. 
So after school ended, I had this weird feeling that like I'd gone from seeing some of my friends every day to us not talking to each other for months. And I felt like I didn't know how to properly re-engage the friendship. And like I said, I'd moved home and I had childhood besties who were nearby now, but we'd gone to different high schools or colleges and I felt the same way there. Like, although this is a person that I used to spend every day with, I'm just not really sure how to pick up after so much time has gone by. But in school, there's this little thing called summer break. Everyone knows that you'll go from seeing your buddies every day to probably not at all for the next couple of months but still once school started again there was no issue picking right back up where you left off with your favorite classmate the truth that summer break revealed to me is that all friendships are situational i mean let's be for real it's not like you had a choice of 10 different places to go on a monday morning when you were 10 years old you were legally required to be at school and so were your friends and in the summer you could not be there and in fact you probably had to be some other place that your parents made you go i know for me i spent most of the school year with the same few kids and in the summer i had my summer camp friends who i never talked to during the school year but who i had fun seeing every day in the summer i think the reason that this worked is because no one took it personal when the conditions were right i.e you were in the same place you spent time together and when the conditions weren't right you didn't and that was totally okay you just filled each other in on what happened when you were both gone so tip number three is for those friendships that seem like they've fallen off or were never really solidified in the first place just pretend like it was summer break a simple hey girl it's been so long let's catch up sometime this month can really be all that it takes this has worked amazingly for me this summer in helping me reconnect to my childhood friends so this is Shakia and that's Rihanna we went to elementary and middle school together and our families were really close But we each went to different high schools and colleges in different places and barely saw each other for the last five years But this summer we were all around and we all had similar schedules at least on the weekends And it only took one time of reaching out for us to realize this and since we realized that we've been hanging out Basically every weekend just like we did when we were kids and I'm sure it won't last forever Someone's schedule will change someone will move but it's important to know that that doesn't change the friendship it only changes the situation so the point is if you have some friendships that have been on summer break for a while try reaching out you might find that summer break is over i hope this mindset and these tips help you as much as they've helped me once i did reconnect with my friends i started to struggle with how to balance spending time with my friends and getting everything done that i need to get done so i actually made a video on how to balance your social life with being productive you can check it out here if you like to and otherwise I'll see you in my next video. Bye.